Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 6, 1 to 15. Jesus went off to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or of Tiberias, and a large crowd followed him, impressed by the signs he gave by curing the sick. Jesus climbed the hillside and sat down there with his disciples. It was shortly before the Jewish Passover, Jewish feast of Passover. Looking up, Jesus saw the crowds approaching and said to Philip, Where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He only said this to test Philip. He himself knew exactly what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii would only buy enough to give them a small piece each. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, There's a small boy here with five barley loaves and two fish, but what is that between so many? Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, and as many as 5,000 men sat down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting ready. He then did the same with the fish, giving out as much as was wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to the disciples, Pick up the pieces left over, so that nothing gets wasted. So they picked them up and filled twelve hampers with scraps left over from the meal of five barley loaves. The people, seeing the sign that he had given, said, This really is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, who could see they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, escaped back to the hills by himself. The prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. And he gave them out to all who were sitting ready. A major component of life is having to deal with challenges. Philip and Andrew went into panic mode and began to calculate and tried to solve the situation. It was glaringly impossible to self-solve, but they felt that they could still take things under their control. Quite naturally, we go into crisis mode without taking the time to sit down. We are big on self-reliance, and when this fails, we eventually turn our focus on Jesus, who is always inviting us to sit down. When difficult situations inevitably surface, seek first the intervention of Jesus, give thanks for whatever little you have, and sit down before the prophet who has come into the world. Sitting down for a meal is a sacred life-giving experience. Miracles occur when we are in communion with each other. Blessings are multiplied as we practice the beautiful gesture of serving each other. Sacred moments and sacred spaces are created to give life and light. Jesus takes our five barley loaves and two fish and gently moves us to experience miracles we bow our heads glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning it's now and ever shall be a world without end the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit may he come long upon you remain with you preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.